All right, so if you are looking for current trends in librarianship, a good place to just get started is Google. Um, so let's just put that in and see what comes up right away. This one is what trends will affect and shape libraries in 2018. Uh, this one I've clicked on before because it's from the American Library Association. So let's see what this one has. So this is kind of a um, like an article slash list on trends. There's intellectual freedom. Uh, youth and teen services, library programs, um, libraries and the law, accreditation of library programs. So that's a place to start. Here's uh, 2019 library technology trends. So there's maker spaces, user focused interfaces, digital displays, cloud tech. And then if you want to get more specific, you could do Here's a list, privacy, cyberbullying, graphic design trends, fake news. Something else from American Library Association. So it's good to use Google um, and search engines like that to kind of get a general idea of what the trends are. So then if something looks interesting to you, you can uh, go to the library website and start looking for articles, um, which is what we can go ahead and do now. So this is the library.sjsu.edu website. We're going to articles and databases. And then for trends in library science, you'll probably find the best stuff in library and information science source. Okay, so let's just pick a trend to look up. We can look up um, maker spaces. It's a good one. And then if you want to just retrieve peer-reviewed journals, go ahead and click that. That's a healthy number of results, um, 230. So these are all results that talk about makerspaces. Uh, you can limit them further, just limit them to academic journals. And if you wanted to um, cross-reference some trends, like if you wanted to search for makerspace, um, and technology, if you wanted to write about the use of technology in makerspaces. And so that gets you um, a, few, a few less results, um, but they are more targeted toward what you might want to research. So that's kind of the process. Um, it's definitely just kind of seeing what's out there in general trends and then doing more targeted research within a database like this one. So hopefully this helps, um, and good luck with your research.